EXE, which are, it's a PC game. Uh, I think it's available on mobile as well. And I played that game earlier this month for our first ever, because we've been doing uh, Halloween in July. This is our second year doing Halloween in July. Really happy doing this. This has been a lot of fun uh, these past two years. And But I haven't done a 4th of July, Halloween in July special. So I thought, you know what? Now's the time. So uh, I ended up randomly finding a game called Daddy.exe, and apparently they were releasing on that day, uh, 4th of July that day, that is, they were actually releasing the sequel to Daddy.exe, which is Daddy.evil.exe. So evil is before the .exe. Um, so... I didn't know what to expect because I never played either one of those games before. I uh, still haven't played it yet as I'm talking about this, but I wanted to, just like last time, I wanted to show you guys the web page, which is now on the screen. And the reason why I wanted to show it to you guys is because I want to see if there's any more lore like there was last time because things were very strange last time. Uh, if you haven't seen me play that, you can pause this video, check that out uh, as well. But anyway, so let's read. So it says, Note. Please detach controllers. This is not lore. Uh, this is not lore stuff at all. Dead Evil EXE is both a terrifying thriller with a gripping story and an unorthodox retro platformer with unique puzzles and obstacles. In Dead Evil EXE, you step into the tiny shoes of a silent hero named Knightley. Knightley must jump, run, and manipulate environmental environments in order to survive the heart-racing journey through a stunning pixel art world. Within surreal adventures and blocky hills look dangerous creatures known as corruptions. Oh no, they take the forms of their creator's greatest fears, which mine would probably be uh, just a life without love or intimacy. You know, normal stuff. Their creepy creator, sporting a cunning visage of cheerfulness, hides in plain sight as she watches her prey fall deeper into her traps. Cool. Okay. Uh, a game lost in time, melodic madness, immersive tale of horror, and standalone sequel. Okay, so none of the weird stuff that was in the original. And also, uh, this game, you can purchase it for a dollar. Gotta be real with you, haven't played it yet, so I have no idea if it's worth the dollar. It is a dollar, though, but again, don't know if it's worth the dollar. The first one, uh, last I checked, was free. I got that for free. You could, I believe, uh, pay for it if you enjoy it, uh, like, many, uh, like many games on itchio.io. Uh, Personally, I would say that for the first game, definitely worth, at the very least, a dollar. This one, I don't know yet, but I'll play it in a second, and we will see. Alright guys, ooh, this is loud. Okay, we're about to start. Now I also want to mention that I am not in any way filming this at any other time of the day. It is the exact time that it was when I started filming. I want all of you to remember that. So anyway, uh, let's see. Ooh, this game is not for the faint of heart. This game is not appropriate for people who are easily frustrated by platformer games. Oh, I don't want to stop now. Uh, this game is not suitable for people with a nervous disposition, people with heart problems, and people with conditions that might be aggravated by stressful and or nerve-wracking game levels. User discretion. I don't know why I thought it was viewer. Wow. User discretion is advised. Okay. So I meet most of those. Uh, ooh, loud. Sorry, all of you had to see that. Anyway, so let's go to this music section. Really good. Fun is infinite. Okay, I think it just wants me to like uh, reset what. Oh, okay. So no, granted, I haven't started the game yet. Uh, at this point, I don't know what's going on. Kind of feels like a carnival in a way. And I'm gonna see if I can beat the game today. If I can't, then damn. But I'm gonna see if I can beat the game today. Level one. Play level. Okay. Hi, I'm the dev. Welcome to level one. Player, I gave you a knight as your avatar. Let's call this cute little thing knightly. Fits well. Uh, you're going to save the day. Hooray! Let me introduce you to your guide. Her name is Aid. It stands for Artificial Intelligence for Dead AEXE. She's very useful. She will help you. Please don't enable audio. Please enable audio so you can hear. Don't be fooled. Her intelligence is fake. <laughs> I love how they're like, by the way, here's, here's some foreshadowing. All right, I'm gonna try to see if I can make sure to hear all of her, but down it gets too loud. Darn Hello. these speakers. My name is Aid. I will help you in this game. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. 
Alright, it's the same as last time, if you guys saw that episode. And I already screwed up. Press the space bar to jump. Hey! Oh no, I need that. If I know anything, I'm gonna need that. You will die. Huh. Ooh, let me move this. Let me move that uh, mouse off there. Jump again while in the air to double jump. Right. Yeah, they're doing this because... Avoid sharp objects. They will kill you. Thank you, Abe. Tombstones are checkpoints. That still freaks me out. Whoa. Okay. Don't collect coins. Don't. Huh. She was right. Don't collect coins. <laughs> is why you should listen to instructions. Thanks, Dev. You're awesome. I'm not about that life. No! Damn it. So I'm not going to hit that this time. But I'm a little nervous that there is a reason why I should hit it or something. Like it's a Mario thing? I don't know. Oh, thought I could maybe fall down there. Uh, let's see. Nope. Warning. There are scary and dangerous monsters like this one in this game. Do not touch them. Gotcha, Aid. Thanks, Aid. I'm waiting for Aid to turn on me. I'm waiting for that one defining moment of just like, no, Aid! Like, I'm just wondering when that will be. Okay. Damn it, all the hell. Oh my god. I did it! Oh, snap. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. Ooh, you suck. Oh, you suck even harder. Oh, it's one of these things again. Oh! Wow. That was... <laughs> Thank you! I think. Great job. You are a great platformer. Oh, aid. That's sweet. Thanks, Aid. When is it coming, though? Waiting for the Mega Death. Oh, God. Oh, okay. No, I needed that to. Oh, no, I didn't. Go oh, God. The bottom, not the one on top. Okay. Perhaps you misunderstood the bottom platform. Oh. All right then. The bottom, not the one on top. I thought she meant the. Yeah, I did misunderstand. Aid. Oh God. Oh. Okay. I actually made it. All right. Wow. They were gonna now screw me over. The top platform. Yeah, top this time. We. You have to trust me. I want to look out for you. Thank you, Aid. Oh, oh. Well, how about help me here, Aid? Oh, wait, what? Ah, that's painful. I'm waiting for that to kill me or something. Oh. Am I king now? I don't know. Oh. That could be worse. Huh. That just killed me. Alright. I'm worried that I need that for some reason. You have I to guess wait not. for the platforms to come to you. This first set of platforms move at slow speed. The next sets become regressively faster. Thanks, Aid. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. No, that's on me. Oh, snap. You know? 
Yeah! I don't know. I just, I, I, I'm... Oh, right, don't collect coins. Wow, the dev nearly tricked me. Um, I guess it made me think of the first game. Pay attention. These yellow blocks will spin 90 degrees clockwise every time you tap the jump button. Jump up and avoid the spikes. Interesting. Spin 90 degrees clockwise every time you tap the jump button. Jump up and avoid the spikes. <laughs> you are very smart. Now, ride this lift and go through the portal. Oh, that makes it worse. Yeah. Amazing! I grant you a score of 692, 3, what? What was that down there? What was that down there? Y'all saw that, right? Hi there! I thought someone else was going to play this game. Anyway, I'm Yana. Yana Curtis. I see you've met Aid and the Dev. I've been here for a while and I can tell you, I'm a veteran of sorts. I love this game. Was she from the first game? I don't remember. I'm sorry, I forgot my manners. What's your name? I'd love to know. Say your name loud and clear into the mic, alright? Tap when you're ready. Oh god, can I, am I using my mic? Matt. Matt. Wait, what? I didn't know I was supposed to be using my mic. Matt. Hey, I'm just kidding. This game doesn't have permission to use the mic. Ah, but what it does have is pretty old me. And I'm not so pretty when I get angry. That's threatening. That is a threat. That is legally a threat. Anyway, please close this game right now. Stop playing this game. Thank you. Where'd you go? Thought we lost you for a second there. It started to hit the fan, everybody. It's happening. It's happening now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna press onward. Okay. DevNote, congrats! Level two already. Great! A lot easier than the first game, right? Anyway, since games shouldn't just be about running and jumping around, I'm giving you a mission. I hope Abe didn't baby you too much, though. Harder challenges await you. Okay, I'm giving you a familiar objective. Rescue the princess. Her name is Miles. Alrighty then. That's not my brother's name. Miles being held captive by an evil entity. The evil entity's name is Yana. Good luck, hero. You deserve to be the knight in shiny armor. I am cheering for you. I don't like any of this. I don't like it. You can jump while falling down. This can help with huge gaps. You can jump while falling down. This can oh, snap, I got huge it. gaps. Is that? That looks like the my character from the last game. Could just be another knight though. This was the other one. She went through a lot. Huh. The gap is awfully huge. Perhaps you can push this green block and while you are on top of it, you can jump off. This was the other one. She went through a lot. Huh. Oh snap! Perhaps you can push this green block and while you are on top of it, you can jump off. Nope, that's a problem. Oh snap, still made it work. Hey. Whew, okay. Be careful. I want a tombstone. <laughs> I need myself a tombstone! Be careful, please. I'll try. Oh my god. Oof. Okay. Haha, -ha, not gonna get me today, coins. Oh, yeah! Coins. Oh, 
coins! Yes! Freak, okay. I felt a great disturbance in the code. Felt a great disturbance, that's terrifying. Ho 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 ho! I had this game since I did that. That's scary as Oh god. I'm getting... Mm, you see, you might not know what they're doing. They're getting me used to other patterns and then hitting me with... Uh, Okay. 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 Oh, tombstone. Why, thank you. Oh, you jerks. There we go. Haha, -ha, I've got you. What was that sound? What is that? Well, that was anticlimactic. That's terrifying. Okay. I, I... Sure. <laughs> okay, I'm actually into this. I think we're gonna wrap up this special by, by, by just doing Dede Quest. Oh my god, yes. Okay. I'm wondering if there are any other buttons. I want to interact with this pup. Pup? Sir Pup? Damn it, Sir Pup. Or it could be a cat. Who's this? Yana? What did that say? They look so happy here. They do! Okay, I guess you can't say anything else to me. Oh, this is beautiful. Who are you? Well, how dare you? What's going on here? Who's that? I want to say hi to you. I just don't know how to get there. Also, the music has stopped. I don't know if you guys noticed. This is generally ominous. Okay. What? Yeah. Wait, what? There's more? There's Derenoid? Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, hey. It's impossible to beat this. Probably. But I have all the time in the world. That's hilarious. Oh, never mind. I thought they were about to actually do that to me. I was like, damn you. Uh-oh. I'm gonna I'm just wait. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, Jeebus! Yes. I said yes. What? What is happening? 
Okay guys, so I am officially terrified. I don't know when I'm going to be playing this game again, but please comment below and tell me if you want it to be sooner or later or whatever it is. You might think about me playing this game, 1-800-HOWS-MY-PLAYING, or the game itself, because I actually really do enjoy the game. I loved when it started picking up. I'm just scared, uh, and I know that uh, it's probably best to stop playing now. But again, if you guys want me to play sooner rather than later, comment below. Would love to pick this up again, preferably before Halloween. Uh, usually we do you know, scary stuff around Halloween or Halloween in July, but we can obviously make some exceptions, especially for a quick and fun game like this. Whew, okay, so... I, uh, I don't know what to say other than it's been a very fun Halloween in July. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry that it kind of petered off at the end there. Um, not the game, like, we're not me playing the game, but just generally our Halloween in July. A lot of stuff ended up happening towards the end of the month, and releases ended up getting jumbled up, and sadly some reviews that I wanted to do didn't get done, but they will be done in the near future. Uh, so make sure to check the channel for more reviews. And of course, you know, we're going to keep on with the fun Let's Plays. Not sure what we're doing for August. Uh, not necessarily doing a back-to-school theme, although I know some of my college friends are going back to school. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what August awaits us. Might just be a normal, fun, uh, you know, everyday, uh, those guys channel that, you know, releases both in Let's Plays, T-Tutorials, and everything else. Okay, guys, so, fun stuff, still scared, uh, still thinking about this game. This game may haunt me for a while. But, uh, but yeah, so love you all. Take care. Tune in next time. And if you want to buy this game, I'll link it in the description box below. And I would say that just from the first two episodes alone, you should, or two levels alone, you should totally buy it. I mean, again, even if you just give a dollar, if you only buy it for a dollar, I, I think it's worth it. So that's just me. Uh, tell me what you guys think and tell me about any of your experiences with this game if you've been trying it in the comments below. Okay. Woo. So... Take care, and I'll see you next time. Love you all, and uh, see ya.